Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Call AAA for star trouble. Hey there, stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, outreach astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory, and I'll be your guide to the sky this month on Stargazer. Having star trouble? Never fear, I'm sending AAA your way, and each A is from a different constellation. Wondering what I'm talking about? Here, let me show you. All right, I have our sky set for about an hour after sunset facing northeast. High above the northeastern horizon, you'll see a large square pattern of stars called the Great Square of Pegasus. Pegasus is a winged horse that is part of an ancient story involving many characters from Greek mythology. And you can find all these characters in the same part of the sky. The first A in our triple A is Andromeda. Andromeda is the beautiful daughter of Cassiopeia the Queen and Cepheus the King. You can find Andromeda next to the Great Square of Pegasus. Use the fourth star in the square, a star named Alpharats. Then follow the two lines of stars downward, and that forms the body and long legs of Andromeda. Her arms are marked by another group of faint stars, which trail away from her body. Cassiopeia and Cepheus can both be seen off to the left of Andromeda. Because of Cassiopeia's arrogance, Andromeda was to be sacrificed to Cetus, the sea monster, a rather obscure constellation down to the right of Pegasus. The second A in our triple A involves the final player in this cosmic drama, Perseus the Hero. And the A is Algol. Algol is the second brightest star in the constellation of Perseus. You can find Perseus just below Andromeda's feet. Follow the line of stars from Alpharats, her head, down through the dimmer stars, and if you keep going, you'll run smack dab into the star Murfak, the brightest star in Perseus. Off to the right of Murfak is the second brightest star in Perseus, Algol. This part of Perseus represents the severed head of Medusa. Medusa was an infamous Gorgon, a monster who could turn you to stone with just one look. Perseus slew Medusa by cutting off her head while looking at her harmless reflection in his shield. Then later, Perseus rescued Andromeda from the sea monster Cetus by using the severed head of Medusa to turn the dreaded sea monster into stone. Algol is said to be the winking eye of Medusa, because Algol is not just any other star. Algol is what we call an eclipsing variable, and it was the first one ever discovered. Algol is a star system where two stars of different brightnesses orbit each other, and the light of the brighter star is temporarily blocked by the larger, dimmer star. Algol dims and rebrightens like clockwork every 2.87 days, and it's pretty easy to observe. In the middle of an eclipse, Algol is three times dimmer than normal. So, if you go outside on Monday, September 19th, Algol will be near its brightest, and almost three days later, Algol will be near its dimmest. The eclipse of Algol's brighter star, when the eclipse is at its greatest, lasts about two hours. Due to Algol's location in the sky, it's sometimes at its dimmest during the daytime when we can't see it. However, if you check it out next month on October 3rd at 2.11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Algol will be at its dimmest. The next day, October 4th, Algol will be back to full brightness. And the next day, on October 5th at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Algol will again be at its dimmest. This is why Algol is often called the winking eye of Medusa. Our final A in our triple A involves a constellation that appears in the middle of all this mythological action. This constellation is Aries the Ram. Aries can be a toughie to find because it only has two bright stars. However, this month the largest planet in the solar system, 88,000 mile wide Jupiter, is nearby to help you find it. The horns of the ram are marked by the stars Hamal to the left and Sheraton to the right. Aries might be faint, but he's special because he marks the beginning of the Zodiac. So get outside this week for a stellar AAA, and as always, keep looking up. Hey there, Stargazers. Be sure to check out the all-new Stargazers next month. Same time, same channel. For more info, go to stargazersonline.org.